All right, joining us now in studio, Nicole Powell, <coughs> formerly of the Stanford Cardinal, and Candace Wiggins, formerly of the Stanford Cardinal, yes. now both members of the WNBA. In fact, uh, I, I'm sure the uh, men players of the NBA are somewhat envious because right now you guys begin almost a one-month break because of the Olympic basketball team. Are you looking forward to it? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> um, like I was saying earlier, like uh, being a rookie, you just – Going straight from my college season to WBA, it was, it was really overwhelming, so it was just to be nice to relax yeah. for a little bit. Nicole, are you going to hang out in Sacramento? You play for the Monarchs. You right. live there. Are you going right. to hang in Sacramento? Um, I'll have a, a week back in Phoenix at home, and, uh, and then we'll be back up there training. Right. And uh, it, it's really good. Our team needs a break. We have a lot of injuries and um, just need to heal up, so we're looking But your team's to on a roll. After That's kind right. of a slow start, you guys That's have picked right. it up quite a bit. Uh, Candace, I know that there has to be some level of disappointment because you wanted to be on that Olympic basketball team going to Beijing. How do you feel now that you didn't make it? Well, um, you know, I, I know I'm really young and I have, you know, hopefully a very long career ahead of me. So um, I think that the committee did a great job of selecting the best team to represent our country. Boy, that's incredibly diplomatic, don't you think, uh, Nicole? You can take a shot at somebody. No, if you want. no, it's ser I'm serious. You know, I'm, I'm young, and they really went for experience. And um, I know that I still need to build that. And I think um, with experience, that'll help. What's the biggest perception, that, misperception that you think you have to overcome? Uh, I still think it, it's proving to the sports world and then the community out there that we can play. I mean, if you've seen this girl play, you can see what, what we can do. And it's just getting better and better and deeper and deeper. And uh, every league is, is very competitive. You know, look at Candace Parker. She's amazing. Well, tell me about that, what happened la last oh. week. I mean, all of a sudden, the WNBA, which was really on the mm -hmm. back pages, would probably led most people's newscasts. I know it led my sportscast because I've never seen, that was the first brawl, I guess you could call it, that we had. Some people thought it was... Uh, it was choreographed that was suggested, which obviously that wasn't the case. Oh, but that's were, so funny. Were, were you surprised to see that happen? Yeah, I was very surprised. You know, um, I know Candace per personally, and I think that it's just one of those situations where, um, you know, heat of the moment, things get the best of you, emotions. And I don't think um, if they, you know, obviously if they could do it all over again, it wouldn't have happened. Well, I think the one thing you said is brawl. And I think yeah. it's really been blown out of proportion. Yeah. I mean, it really was a scuffle. Yeah. And, um, you know, like Candace said, it's just, you know, competitive nature. And that's what happens. You know, we're competitive women, we're competitive athletes, and sometimes that happens. Well, I've never seen it happen. But, <laughs> but uh, here's Lisa Leslie talking about that incident uh, afterwards. I mean, this is not the way we want to represent ourselves. You know, I'm a mom. I don't want to represent myself like this in front of my daughter. And then to have, you know, a coach push me down, I don't even know why was he pushing me down. I wasn't swinging or hitting anybody. I was just going to go and help my team. And this is not the way we want to represent ourselves in the WNBA. So, I mean, what's wrong with letting the emotions uh, fly every once in a while? Well, I think, like Lisa, she's, she's a mother. I know she's really, um, you know, that's not the person. She doesn't want people to turn on the TV and see that and really, and just really, uh, assume or and put it in a, in a category. I think she really wants the people to know that, um, you know, that's not in her nature. That's not the league's nature to, to really, that's not really what we want the forefront to be. Okay. Why no, why no team in the Bay Area? San Jose, Oakland, right. San Francisco yeah. doesn't have a pro team. Right. It takes time. I mean, we're growing very slowly and uh, you can't expect us to put teams everywhere quickly. You know, I think each market that we have, we're really trying to grow that and expand it and keep it strong. And that's part of the league continuing to sustain itself. Mm -hmm. And so it's going to take some time. And, you know, we just got to find the right people, the right owners who really want to take care of it. Who wins the WNBA title this year? Sacramento Monarchs. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Minnesota yeah. Absolutely. There it is. <laughs> How about you been to the Mountain I don't want to shoot our <laughs> Hey, Candace, thank you very much. <laughs> Appreciate it, and uh, you guys enjoy your month you. off. I appreciate you. you taking time coming to the studio and, and continued success. I mean, it's a growing thing, and hopefully someday, uh, soon, we'll see it right here in the Bay Area. Candace and Nicole, uh, former Stanford stars, now making their names in the WNBA. We'll be back.